Do, 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 do. Okay. <coughs> hey guys, Lynn here. Welcome to another episode of Building Belterra. Today we are going to start building our train that goes through the suburbs, which I showed you in the last episode when we started building our house, which is over there. But I don't want to build the way I've been building with just focusing one thing at a time, I'm going to kind of mix and match a couple of builds at the same time and upload them alternatively. So today we're going to start building our train. We won't get started on the train yet because we have to build this train platform and start building the actual rails as well. So this is one I built on New Year's Day because I was ill so I spent the whole day playing Minecraft and this is what I built. And we're going to build another station if we just kind of follow the tracks going around, which I've started to build. Corners were really difficult to build, so they're kind of very, very sharp corners. They're 90 degrees, but there was nothing I could do. So we have very sharp corners. If we follow them around, we will come to where we're going to build the next station, where I'll make the tutorial. So, right here another sharp corner and this is where the next station is going to be this uh, train goes around a lot of the suburbs not all of it but a lot of it and so there'll be quite a few stations to build and I think what I'm going to do is have I have like my uh, my map split up into four islands plus kind of like a mainland now there's nothing really on the mainland it's just uh it's just going to be grass and mountains and things. But the islands are split up into the suburbs plus three separate types of city. And each island is going to have its own different type of train going through it. As well as a main train that goes around the entire map. Which will follow like the main road. Which is this one. Because this one also goes around the entire map. So every kind of area will have its own train. So I will probably make a tutorial on all the different ones I make. Okay, so we've continued on the the rail. And this is going to be the start of the station. So we'll get this train platform built. And then we might get started on the train. So all we're going to need is stone brick slabs. And you're going to build it too high and it's going to be 71 wide. I've already placed where 71 is, which is way over here. And all you're going to do is fill that in so it'll be two above the road. Because my road is built one above the ground, so the road will be going here. So that's two above the road. And I'm just going to fill in the wall, going all the way along to over there. And then you're going to leave a space of nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're well, going to leave a space of seven. It is nine wide. And then you're going to put another wall going right down. Okay, so it's a space of seven, not nine. It's nine wide altogether. So I'm just going to build these two walls going right down to where that block is, which is 71 away. Okay, and then I'm just going to speed that up because there's no point in watching me fill it in. Okay? And then 
after I do that actually, I'm going to fill it in with just stone slab on top. Okay? So that's what you have to do for the entire train platform. So that's what it will look like. Okay? So these are actually hollow inside. So I'm just going to speed that up and I will see you once it's built and I will show you what it looks like. Okay, now that that's done, I'm just going to get rid of a few of these lines because we're going to place in some steps. So, place one there and on the bottom. And next one up. We all know how to make steps, I guess. Three away. There we go. And then again, we could do the same on the other side. And uh, before we do anything else, I'm actually going to fill in some mud because I am building one above the actual ground. So I need to fill in all the mud here. It's just because it was much easier to fill in all of the land in Baltera than it was to dig out water because there's much more water than there is land. Okay, so I'm just going to fill in some of the mud, and then we can move on. Okay, now that that's done, I'm just going to take some crack stone, mossy stone, and some stone brick stairs, and I'm just going to randomly destroy some blocks. Okay, so that's random all the way along. And I'm just going to place in one of these blocks in all of these, just to add some detail into it. Like that. There we go, I can add in some of these there. There we go. It just I just wanted it to look a bit more worn down. And so I'll just fill back in some of these road bits I destroyed. Right, and the final thing we're gonna do is bring these train tracks along to the other side of here. So to make the rail in this suburbs, all I've done is made wooden sleepers that are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wide and then I fill them in with a piece of iron to make the tracks and then obviously I put down rail to make it look like the actual tracks. So first of all that needs to be that direction 
and then one on the inside of each bit of wood has a piece of iron. Just to try and make it look as much as train tracks as I possibly could. Then over all these bits just going to be a line of track going right along. You won't be able to ride these rails because there will be a train kind of in the way at every station. So that's what the rails look like. If you wanted to take time you could dig out the mud underneath and fill it all in with gravel, that would look kind of cool. But the, the train tracks around here go on forever so I'm not going to do that. So again, I'm just going to fill this in, going right along to the end, just right here, at which point the tracks will cross and continue on down the way. But I'll show you how to build that in the next video. Okay, so I'm just going to start building these. These are seven wide, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's just going to continue in a straight line all the way down. Okay guys, that's us finished our rail. We've built the platform, we just have to decorate the top of it here and then we can get started on our train, which doesn't take long to build at all and it's a lot more simple to build than it looks. So guys, if you are enjoying building Baltara, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you next time.